I have COVID. Like, <sighs> okay. Hey YouTube, what is up? My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be talking about my experience with COVID-19. Yes, I had COVID and I wanna share my experience because I feel like when I first got it, I was looking up on YouTube, like what it feels like to have it, like what's gonna happen, like I was worried. So I thought that I'd share my experience and maybe that'll help someone out. Before I got tested positive, you know, I knew it was real, but I didn't think I'd ever get it. Like no one thinks they're gonna get it until they do. When I got it, I was like, this is really real. Obviously I always wear a mask and social distance, but I ended up getting it through one of my family members. I was never really scared of getting the virus. I knew that, and I know now that I have really good health. I have a good immune system. And if I do get it, I will be okay, you know? Well, hopefully I really just, I never thought that I would get it. I'm a college student and before second semester started, I wanted to go home and get a few items for my house and say, peace out everyone, won't be back for three months, you know? I went home on a Tuesday and I stayed from Tuesday until Wednesday, it's literally and I left Wednesday. I came into contact with my grandma who lives with me and my uncle and my mom and my brother. Everyone was like fine, no one was sick. So Thursday passes, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday comes along. I wake up at four in the morning. I have COVID, like I just like felt it in my brain. I was like, I have COVID. There's no doubt about it. I definitely had a fever, just wasn't feeling well at all. You know, kind of like flu-like symptoms. And my boyfriend was sleeping over and he actually got up to go to the bathroom at four in the morning. And I think maybe that's what woke me up. But I woke up and I walked out to him and I was like, I have COVID. I don't feel good right now. He was like, it's okay, let's just go to bed. We'll see how you feel in the morning. So I wake up the next morning and I feel exactly the same. And I was so tired, I could barely wake up. I slept the entire day and I woke up like maybe every two hours. Definitely had a fever. Definitely had like some chills and a little bit of a cough. So th those were my like first symptoms. And then Monday rolls around. I'm like, all right, that was probably just like a fluke thing. Like I'm feeling better Monday morning, new day. I started to get ready and I was like, all right, I'm going to go get COVID tested just in case. I really didn't think at Monday when I felt better, I didn't think I had it. I was like, let's just go get tested to be extra sure. Um, and then we'll come back here and chill until I get my results. So I get ready to go and my boyfriend is saying like, you know, you should be really relaxing right now. Like you weren't feeling well yesterday. And I was like, I know, but I want to go get a COVID test. And he was like, yeah, let's go get a COVID test. So I just went to the nearest one in my town, which was like the biggest hospital in my area. And obviously they had to be packed. So we waited in line for maybe 45 minutes, I think. It was a PCR test and you know, you get the results from in five to seven days. I didn't know that at the time. It was this whole drawn out process. We had to go wait in different lines and different groups, like in our car, obviously. I got my test. Um, I was like, all right, five to seven days. Oof, I don't know like if I could wait that long. Like I'm going back to school soon. I have to have a negative test. I need to know now. The next morning I was like, okay, I'm gonna get a rapid test just so I know like if I have it or not. And then I could have the PCR test to confirm that rapid test. I make an appointment at Walgreens to get a quick rapid test um, for 10 a.m. The Walgreens I made the appointment for was like 20 minutes away, right? So I drive there at like 9.30. Didn't feel great again. It wasn't a fever, but it was more like tired, maybe just like a little headache, fatigue, um, and weakness, like muscle weakness. I don't really know, but I drove 20 minutes away to get this rapid test and I go, all right, finally I can get it. Drive up to the Walgreens window and she goes, I don't see your name in the system. I'm like, I signed up, like I have a conf confirmation, here you go. And I showed her and she was like, that's for tomorrow. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. I drove 20 minutes and I know 20 minutes is not a long time in reality, but I feel horrible. I parked in the Walgreens parking lot and I cried for like 30 minutes because I was like, what do I do? Like, I don't even want to drive home right now. Like, I feel horrible. Call my boyfriend 
and I was like, I didn't get the test. Like, he, she didn't give it to me. He was like, it's okay, just come to my place and we'll take a test in the morning. Since he'd already been exposed to me, we figured that we were gonna quarantine together anyways. I got a rapid test and I went back to his place and we kind of just waited for, um, to get the results which we had to wait like two days. And at that point, I still didn't get that first PCR test back. So I'm happy I took the second test. My symptoms leading up to getting tested positive, I only had a fever on Monday. I was very fatigued the whole entire week, sleeping, 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 like I didn't even get out of bed. And I think it was the first four or five days I didn't really eat much food. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna lose some weight anyway, it's okay. But it was weakness, tiredness, fatigue, muscle aches, and a little bit of a fever. It definitely wasn't terrible besides for the first day. So I wake up, I think Thursday or Friday morning, look at my email, and I got the email. So I go to check it, and it says that I've been tested positive. And I was like, oh my god. Like I knew I was, obviously I knew I had it, but seeing it written out like that is like a different feeling like you never think you're gonna get it until you do it said tested positive and i started like freaking out a little bit because i think school was starting online the next following week and i was like i'm gonna miss so much class i'm so stressed also i do not know how to relax and when you have covid you don't want to do anything but lay in bed so in my head i'm like i want to get up and get some things done i want to be productive i want to go work out my body was like no you're not doing that. And my mind said, you know what? It's right, maybe I should learn how to relax once in a while. So, got tested positive, told my mom, told my dad, sent, they sent me a bunch of vitamins. And a few days later, still not feeling great, just very tired and weak. So I decided to go home because actually I realized I got exposed from either my uncle or my grandma when I went home on that last Tuesday. My uncle works like at two jobs, so it's pr probably him. Because I didn't go anywhere else besides from my house. It, m it must have been him. Because he got tested positive the same day I did, and so did my grandma. So me, my uncle, and my grandma were quarantined in our house for three weeks straight. And we were all just kind of helping each other out. So I went home starting to feel a little better this is the second week now i think i went home on a saturday so the second week comes along and i'm feeling better i'm not sleeping all day anymore but just time i watched like 15 netflix series so if you want suggestions comment down below and i'll tell you my favorites um but yeah i watched so much netflix i kind of just chilled i had a lot of realizations while i had this virus because I've never sat in my bed for so long and not seen anyone because I was like completely isolated. Kind of realized a lot about, you know, just being able to relax. It's really good to relax sometimes. And I feel like that's a positive that came out of getting this virus was that I learned to just sit down and do nothing or just sit down and think or sit down and watch TV, which is something I have had trouble with in the past. The second week, my symptoms changed a little bit. I got a little bit of a cough and I felt a little bit nauseous when I woke up in the morning. It was nothing like serious. The second week I had the virus was my first week of online school. And I was like, you know what? I want to get better to go home next week. So I was really trying to, you know, eat right, take my vitamins, take my medicine, sleep, drink a lot of fluids. And so I started to feel better. And my grandma also had it with me, but she had different symptoms than I did and they affected her more severely because she's older. She's better now, she's good, everything went fine. But she had symptoms like um, nausea every single day. She slept much more than me. I felt really bad, but I tried to help her out as much as I could. And by the third week, I was feeling better. At that point, I had the okay to go back to school, but I didn't yet because I'm a dance major, so I wasn't ready for that yet. The third week, basically my only symptom was like weakness. That's pretty much it. So I stayed quarantined for like basically an extra week just because I wanted to be sure and I didn't, you know, want to still be contagious and give the virus to other people. I wanted to be, you know, sure of that. So that last week, I kind of just did my thing in my room, continued watching my Netflix series. At the end of the week, I came back to my apartment and I went back to school. So currently, this is the fourth week since I got tested positive. 
Um, yeah, so it's only been like three and a half weeks and I'm pretty much completely back to normal, whatever normal is. I think that I have some strength to build back up to go back into my dance classes. Overall, I would say I don't think that it's worth being so scared of the virus because I see so many people freak out and like they get all worked up because they're so scared of this virus and I'm like, I get it, it's, but it's a thing and there's nothing you can do about it. So you should control what you can control and what you can control is your feelings about it, you know? You, you social distance, you wear a mask, but don't overwork yourself because you know, you're probably gonna live. This virus has a high percent chance of living. I got it. I know I got a really mild case. My symptoms lasted literally only two weeks. I mean, I guess some people have more mild cases than me, but overall, I don't think it was as bad as I thought it would be before I got it. Like, people think it's something that's gonna kill you, and it's, it's really not. It's like the flu, and I know a lot of people have, you know, passed away from this virus, but if you just look at it with a positive mindset, you will be okay because I was, so you can too. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's my story, that's my experience. And I think I got a lot out of it because you know I try to look at the positive in all situations. And I think I learned, like I kind of look at the world in a different way now. Um, I'm just so grateful for how healthy and how strong I am and how much I have the opportunity to do every day. And I think that I knew that before, but having the virus made me look at the world in a different light. And I'm, I'm happy about that. And I'm happy I got it. I think it happened for a reason. The first time I went outside after three weeks, I was like, there's no ceiling. Like there's a sky, there's air. And I got in the car and I was driving around and I was like, life is great. Blast your music. Like, take the, like, make the most of every moment. Okay, sorry, this is not supposed to be like a motivational thing, but I tend to make everything a motivational thing. So, sorry about that. But basically, live your life to the fullest and don't be scared of something because so many people have lived through it and you will too. I was told that after you have COVID and you do your 14 day quarantine, and I think it's if you, after you don't feel symptoms for seven days, you can go back to school or work. You don't have to take another COVID test before going back because you're gonna test positive for up to 90 days after having COVID for some reason. I think you still have the antibodies, um, but a lot of people when I went back to school were worried because I didn't get a negative COVID test, but you're literally not required to. So if someone tells you you are, you could get a note from a doctor. I didn't because I didn't think it was necessary. But yeah, that is my experience with COVID-19. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Hannah and I just started this YouTube channel. So if you could please give me a subscribe and like and turn on your post notifications. I'm gonna be posting every single week. It's gonna be about lifestyle, health, motivation, dance. And if you have any questions about this virus or about my experience, comment them below and I will answer all your questions. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.